So I'm now in my least favorite place on the course, in the bunker. <laughs> All right. I, I need some serious help. Perfect. So why don't I start by hitting you halfway to that pin. We measured around 15 yards. Yeah. Just try to hit you like a stock 60 degree bunker shot. Perfect. Just so you can see what yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, and you tell me like, like how, your concepts of like, Let when me, you're yeah. in the bunker, what are you What thinking? am I doing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What and I'm thinking we can, is I want to If we need to intervene, we will. <laughs> okay. okay. You're going to need to intervene, I okay. promise you. Some loose impediments here. Okay, so I generally will play it towards my front heel. I like that. That's fine. Um, I'm guilty of opening it too much, so I've been trying to do less of that. Okay. So I'm opening it probably about 20 degrees. Okay. I usually choke down a little bit. I usually lean into my front side a little bit. Um, and then my mentality is usually just kind of, I'm getting a little bit of hinge and trying to just splash maybe an inch behind the ball. Okay, so I think I like a lot of that. I'm yeah. just gonna tweak a couple of those things. Yes. Um, but I want you to hit first and okay. then and okay. then we'll go. Let's hope it comes out. Okay, do your best. <laughs> okay, perfect. So that's a that's I'll do that quite often. So it looked to me like my entry was way too early. It was early. And a lot of sand going on here. Yes. So let's go, let's go again. So I'm gonna do that as like just a feedback, I'm just going to throw a line down. Okay. Yep. So that's going to give us, I got this line drawn about a ball behind this ball, okay. right? Yep. The closer you get to the ball. Mm -hmm. So if I go in here, so if I, if I hit, I'm just demoing to Matt about, you know, two centimeters behind that ball, I'm going to get a very um, small amount of sand on the face. Yeah, yeah. And if that's the case, that's actually going to allow me to spin bunker shots. Right. The more I hit behind it, like this last one, the, the slower the club's gonna be because it's gonna gather more sand. Yep. More sand gets between the club and the face. And less. Or in the ball, and then the ball's gonna end up short. Yeah. Okay, so that's what happened, and then we're gonna go through now how to fix it. Okay. Okay, cool. so you set up. Yep. So we got the line in there. Mm -hmm. So for you, demo what you were doing before in the takeaway. So this is the hinge look. Okay, so for Matt, the first thing I'm looking at is, okay, leading edge is very square at that point in the backswing. Yes. Okay, and the, the club head is quite a bit up. Sometimes it was almost like over here. Yep. I'm exaggerating a little. I'm sure it's close though. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna go, we're gonna add a little bit more loft at address. Okay. As you take it back, I want you to maintain the loft. So see mm. how the face is looking there? Yes. Okay, and then as you come down, mm -hmm. instead of Focusing on that, mm -hmm. I want you to keep the legs calmer so the club head can keep going, and then it's going to be that type of release, similar to the high, soft, uh, like almost high pitch. So I've overdone the amount of across? Too much across. So I'm across with a closed face. Exactly. Okay. And that's why this is hard. No, it is Okay. <laughs> so if we, if we give you more room for error, meaning the face is a bit more open, uh -huh. When the face is open, you, it allows you to hit further behind the ball and not collect a lot of sand. Okay, okay. So if I come in, like if I exaggerate, so there's the ball. Uh -huh. Square face, I hit here, I pick up a ton of sand early. Yes. Makes it way harder to not be perfect. You have to be perfect with gotcha. your motion right now. Makes sense. Okay. So now we're gonna go, Not we don't have to be as perfect. You show me the backswing again. So I need to maintain the loft? Uh, get a little further from it first. Okay. Yeah. Let the club head work a little more around you and maintain the loft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even more. You feel where that is? Yes. Good. And then you're coming in, legs less less active. Let the club head release. Good. Feel the finish. So basically, point the loft at the sky. Much more that way. Okay. No, and and letting the club head move. Yes. So try not to hang on to angles. Yeah, and you don't have to pivot a ton with your body. So it's a little so, more armsy motion. Yeah. So you're here. Legs are going to be a little bit more calm, and then the club head is going to pass you. Okay. Does that make sense? It does. Okay. It's very different, obviously, than what I've been doing. Oh so. yeah, this is gonna be, so letting the club move with calm body, that's your key right here. Okay, Okay. let's try one. So that was great. I love the club delivery. The impact point was just a little bit back. Gotcha, that so, is so much better than I know. Like, did you see the ball yeah, actually stop? Yeah. I, I, can't, yeah. I can't do that. Yeah, that's, <laughs> the ball never that's, stops. That's pretty good for the first one. It, but I know what you mean. It felt, it sort of sounded a bit kind of like drop kicky. It, it was close. Yeah. The only thing that I would adjust is when you took that one back, uh -huh. there was quite a bit of a shift. Oh, okay. okay. So on bunkers, we're gonna start a little left, and then as you're taking it back, I don't wanna see your centers moving a ton. So you don't want lateral motion. You don't need it, because you don't, you don't need, need energy, you don't right. need that much power in a bunker. So kind of keep the sternum over the ball. Yeah. 
Simpler with the club moving around you like you just did. Perfect, so stay right there. And then as you're coming down, the club's really letting it go. Yeah, and, and the keeping the face. Oh, that was a good rep. Just like that. Just nipped it a bit? Yeah, just a little close to the ball. I still think that path is, that was a lot of spin. I mean, it's, it, dude, it's very different already, I can tell you. Yeah. I know those weren't hit properly, but it's the ease with which it's coming out. Right. I also feel like I'm making very little, like I'm generating very little speed. Yeah. Versus and, normally I'm like, I feel like I'm hammering the Well, thing. when you are not sure about where you're hitting the sand, yeah. you have to error with lots of speed because if you do chunk it True. and you don't have speed, you're not going to get it out. You do this. Right? So you know, oh shoot, I better have a lot of speed or I'm not going to be able to get it on uh, the green. Okay, okay. We're now we're more efficient a better impact spot. Yeah. The other thing that we didn't really talk about is the sand. So right here, there's not a lot of sand in this bunker. Firm here, It's yeah. more firm, right? So when you have uh, firm sand, you don't need as much speed because there's not as much sand getting in, in the way of the ball so you'll in basically, your face. you'll get more uh, smash factor kind of thing. It will just come out hotter. It will come, yeah, it will come out hotter. But think about if, if I'm in fluffy sand, yeah. I need the speed because there's gonna be more sand between your face and the golf ball. And it's gonna come out slower. Yeah. But if it's firm, yeah, you, it could be very small motion. Gotcha. Okay, let's do a couple more. Give myself a nice line. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> so I'll get our line in here, make sure we're okay. just giving some feedback. Um, like 60% on the 60, front 60, yeah, I like that. Okay. Same backswing, one more time. So you're here, letting it move. Okay, a little bit less tension. And then as you're coming down, let that club head go. And do you feel where it's going? Yes. Okay. So out to the left. You for me. feel like it's going to go more that way. I feel like sure. it's going out and perfect. And sort of like yeah. Up. Great. Great. It, keep the pressure. Lead foot through the hit. Hey, that was nice. It's not bad. So I see what you mean. Like I fatted that, but if I was trying to hit it 15 yards, I have like 12 foot putt. Right. And for you, it's just managing the low point a little bit. Yeah. Which let's am I still do, am I still shifting? Do one or two practice swings. I just yep. want to see what it's like when you're trying to hit that line. I think I'm still I still on that one felt a little bit of. Yeah, it's like not back. It, for sure. Do it again. So you just do a couple. Close, just a little less lower body. Okay. I want that sweet spot not hitting the sand quite that hard. Let the club head move. Better, better. One more. There, that's the sound. Yeah, that felt better. You feel that? I felt less actual sand coming out. For sure. Yeah. And it's, so what was happening to me is we're, you just kept making the path a little bit more left. Yes. It was less across and down. So the more across you are, the more steep you are, the Typically. more out you are, you get a little more shallow. Yes, yes. Okay. Let's All do right. a couple more. Let me try to get that a little more matched up. Good, aim up for you, aim just a little more left, just to help you. Yeah, so if I get too open, it's going to encourage me to do this. Exactly. And that's that's actually something I see a lot. People think, oh, I need to aim open yeah. because my face is open. Yeah. But your face isn't actually open. Where the grooves are pointed isn't where your face is pointed. Of course, yeah. Right? So it's, we're just paying attention to where the loft's pointed. Gotcha. Okay. It's thin, but... Yeah, it's close. Now that at least so, I contacted closer to the Believe ball. it or not, like for this short shot, I'm just going to shorten your backswing just a touch. Shorten the backswing. Yeah, okay. so it's like that's all you need. Hip high. And then just let it out. Okay. Does that make sense? It does. Just right there. Because we don't need that much power because there, this sand is... Uh, is firm, right? Yeah, is firm. There you go. That's... See, I haven't hit a shot that looked like that actually that spun was, and stopped. I haven't hit a shot like that in a long, right, long time. Right, and it was just... I think the uncertainty was yeah. factoring into how much power totally. you thought you needed yep. where firm sand to this distance we don't really need that much swing unless you're chunking it behind it and then you have to have all that power right 100 percent. or if there's a lip and you need to hit it high then mm. you need more energy but for this shot it's just right in front of you not a lot of sand you don't need much swing perfect so if i'm going to that pin let's assume this is the scenario yeah i've got green to work with that's 30 yards away yeah um i'm going to switch wedges most of the time well, most people I would highly recommend it because yeah. 
the skill level to hit a 30 yard bunker shot with a 60 degree is yeah. high because you need so much club head speed right and you need very good accuracy, accuracy in the delivery so this 54 degree for example the margin for error is just quite a bit a hundred percent yeah it's right? yeah for sure and that's to me that's the right club for this shot for you gotcha all right let's see so for the most part i'm, I'm making all the same Motion, same setup, exactly. same everything. Yeah. Would I open the face a little bit less? No, same, uh, same still amount, open, yeah. Just a little bit open? Yeah, because you still want that balance to be able to slide through the sand for you. Okay. If you get it too square, I want to dig. So I'll try to make a similar length swing because it's obviously less loft should go further. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, Very that's good. really cool. Yeah, great shot. I don't know if it's Florida grass, but like the ball's actually spinning. It. That was <laughs> so shocking to me. That was so good. And this little bit of an upslope, that's like the amount of sand you had there was exact. No, that was perfect. Due to the low point. It, it yeah. was perfect. It was perfect. It yeah. didn't feel um, like there was a ton of sort of like friction on the way through. It kind of felt like the club swung through easily. Perfect. So I would say that was less. And I think that's a lot in part one because of where the club is in your backswing. Yeah. So it's not as steep and up. And up it's here. a little more around you. And now you're able to let the club out. So it's sweeping through the sand or sliding through the sand better. Like generally speaking, I think, especially when you watch like PJ Tour players on TV, they're playing like at Augusta. Yes. And they're playing to extremely tucked pins, super fast greens. They're opening it huge. They're opening the face. They're cutting across it. They're having perfect timing and all this stuff. And I think amateurs watch that and they're like, that's how you hit a bunker shot. But most people, most times, most shots, like they're just not that complicated. I would right. Say. Yeah. And it's, you're like, the thing about bunkers is I'd want to start with the base. Yes. And then once you get comfortable hitting a standard shot, just like this, yeah. then we can talk about the you know, the specialty type shots where you need the face more open and you need a lot more speed and you need yeah, to hit yeah, this yeah. part of the sand just so you can create the right launch and spin for Augusta or something like it's that. It's kind of like somebody trying to like hit draws and fades when they just started playing golf yeah. six months ago. Yeah. Like it's, you don't really need that right, right now. It's just like chipping. You want to start with solid contact yep. and then you start talking about changing launch mm. and then from there you can play around different clubs. But until you get the contact, it's yeah, it, that's it's hard basis, to beat. Right? Exactly. All right, let's exactly. see if we can finish on a good one. One more. This is awesome, though. I already feel less nervous about playing tomorrow. <laughs> I'll get hit in a bunker, which I'm sure I will. Very good. And as you keep letting it go, the shallowness yeah. will, hap will yeah. happen. But that's still a great shot. That's, I mean, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. That's. I can see how that being not a perfect strike, it's still a reasonable result. You have a chance for par. Exactly.